On one end of the call, the exclusive King Edward VII Hospital in London, which has served the British royal family for more than a century. Yes, we are right now at Spitfire Paintball. On the other end, two Australian disc jockeys called Mel and Michael, working for a Sydney radio station called Today FM. It was late at night on Monday. Kate had been admitted hours earlier. William had left the hospital looking pensive. In the early hours of Tuesday, the Australians called the hospital switchboard. In the ensuing conversation, which we're not broadcasting, a nurse, who clearly believed that she was talking to the Queen, gave details about Kate's condition. Like any patient, she's entitled to confidentiality. In a statement this morning, the hospital said it deeply regretted the incident. It went on, this was a foolish prank call that we all deplore. We take patient confidentiality extremely seriously and we are now reviewing our telephone protocols. Former Royal Protection Officer Ken Wharf says the call should never have got through. What should have happened, the call should have been put through or contact made with the police officer on duty at that time. It shouldn't have not have gone through to a member of the nursing staff in that hospital. As for Mel and Michael, the prank callers, they said they were very sorry and wished Kate well. So, what of the patient today? William arrived for his daily visit to his wife shortly before lunch. And from William's uncle, Prince Edward, sympathy and good wishes for Kate. We're thrilled by the news, uh, but also deep, deep sympathy with Catherine because we know somebody who, who suffered the, uh, exactly the same and, and we wouldn't wish that on, on, on anybody at all. Back at the hospital, Kate's brother and sister Pippa departed after a short visit. A little later, they were followed by William. While hospital officials conceded that there had been a breach of Kate's confidentiality in the prank call, but blamed what they called journalistic trickery. You know what? They were the worst accents ever. And it was meant as a light-hearted Aussie prank. Even after their station issued an apology, the two DJs who duped the hospital were making light of it. We were sure a hundred people at least yeah. before us would have tried the same thing. Now they've been suspended from their jobs and one of the nurses they humiliated and fooled is dead. It is with deep sadness that I can confirm the tragic death of a member of our nursing staff, Jacintha Saldana. We can confirm that Jacintha was recently the victim of a hoax call to the hospital. Hospital officials say Saldana was the nurse who transferred the prank call to the Royal Ward. Personal details about the condition of Catherine, the Duchess of Cambridge, who is being treated for severe morning sickness, were disclosed. Two days later, Saldana's body was found in staff accommodation a short distance from the hospital door. There had been a suggestion, some kind of complaint from the royal family about the prank call may have put pressure on the nurse. But a royal source tells CNN no such complaint was ever made. Also, this hospital rejects any suggestion that it may have disciplined the nurse for transferring the call, saying it's been supporting her throughout this very difficult time. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, so happy on leaving the hospital earlier this week, issued a statement expressing their deep sadness at the nurse's death and thanking hospital staff for looking after them so wonderfully well. If you can believe that the uplifting news that a royal baby is on the way has taken such an ugly, tragic turn. Matthew Chance, CNN London. A tragic turn in the radio hoax on the British hospital where the Duchess of Cambridge was being treated for severe morning sickness. A nurse at the UK hospital that treated the Duchess of Cambridge has been found dead. Almost every other Australian broadcaster is reporting the death, but not yet Two Day FM in Sydney. It's just a few days since their presenters were boasting about their prank. Uh, a couple of nights ago, we called the hospital where Kate Middleton is staying, pretending to be the Queen and Prince Charles, yeah. and with the world's worst accent, they, they, they put us straight through. We were expecting to be hung up on. We didn't even know what to say when we, we got through. We got put through, and now the entire world is talking. One of the nurses they duped was Jacintha Saldana. She's now been found dead at her hospital accommodation. Her family and her hospital have said they are deeply saddened. We can confirm that Jacintha was recently the victim of a hoax call to the hospital. 
The hospital had been supporting her through this very difficult time. Jacintha was a first-class nurse who cared diligently for hundreds of patients during her time with us. Everyone is shocked by the loss of a much-loved and valued colleague. This week, the Duchess of Cambridge spent four days in the hospital being treated for acute morning sickness. Throughout her stay here, there was massive international interest in what was happening inside this hospital. It was early on Tuesday morning that the Australian radio show called up. They spoke to Jacinta Saldana. She then put the call through to a colleague who revealed some details as to Kate's condition. The hospital condemned the stunt. But before this latest news, Prince Charles made light of it. What's your reaction to the news about the uh, Duke and Duchess of Cambridge? How do you know I'm not a radio station? In a statement, Two Day FM said, Chief Executive Officer Rhys Holloran has spoken with the presenters. They are both deeply shocked, and at this time, we have agreed that they not comment about the circumstances. The station went on, they will not return to their radio show until further notice, out of respect for what can only be described as a tragedy. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have praised the care Kate received here. They did not complain about the security breach that seems to have played at least some part in the death of a dedicated nurse and mother. Tom Parmenter, Sky News, Central London.